Hi, it's Nicole Dion, and I am here to make an instructional video on how to properly and personally change a sanitary napkin. So this video is for newbies, those who have just newly started their cycle and they want to know how you should change your sanitary napkin. So let's get started. So you're on your way to the restroom. This is our restroom. It could be at a public school, any school. It could be at the library. It could be at the mall. It could be at your friend's house. It's somewhere. It's a toilet. Your pad has been on for an hour or two. It's starting to get a little wet. You can feel it. So you need to change your napkin. So this is what you will need in your purse. Because once you start your cycle, you're going to need to carry a purse, a backpack, something. You'll definitely want some spray because this will make sure that when you're finished changing your sanitary napkin, the area all around where you were using the restroom smells nice and pretty and not like a sanitary napkin. You will also need, and this is what I have, a little bag that contains little sandwich sacks and pads and if you're older and you're a woman you might use these but for this video we're only going to use this in our plastic sack so you're sitting on the toilet you gotta take your panties down you have a dirty sanitary napkin you're going to use the bathroom and girls when you're using the bathroom, you should always write front to back, front to back, throw your tissue in the toilet, wipe again, front to back, make sure that there's no more flow. Throw that in the toilet. Now it's time to take off the dirty napkin, take it off, roll it up, roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it. The goal here is to make sure that you don't leave a trace. Like nobody should know that you're on your cycle. Nobody should smell that you're on your cycle. Nobody should see that you're on your cycle. So you have it rolled up, you roll it in the tissue. Roll it in the tissue, you have your sake. Put it into your sake. Now you can put it on the floor because it's not gonna touch anything, it's in plastic. Now you're gonna get your pad and I just brought some extra pads. These are the ones that I like because they're thin. There's also kind of medium ones, kind of thin, a little bit thick, and these are like really thick. I prefer these because they're still pretty powerful. So you're gonna take your little pad, take it off of the sticky adhesive, and you're going to put it into your panties, like so. Make sure that it is firmly pressed into your panties so that it doesn't wobble around. This particular one has wings. Wings are awesome because they catch everything. Take your sticky things, put your flaps on the outside of your panties so it should look like this. Then you just pull those panties up, pull your skirt down, take your extra paper and put it in your sacky. So even inside of your sacky, nobody should see anything gross. All they should see is tissue. You'll find your next trash can. Just properly put it in the trash can. Please don't put these in the toilet. That is so gross. And it really messes up the plumbing at your friend's house, at the library, at school. Keep it in your plastic sacky and put it in the nearest trash can. At this time, you will spray, spray, spray. You can even spray some on yourself. So when you step out, you smell good. Flush that toilet, get your purse. Don't forget your spray. Don't forget your pads and your extra plastic sackies. You open that door. When you come out, it is smelling like flowers and goodness. So the next person that uses that toilet is gonna be like, dang, she smells good. And that's what you want. The goal is you never want people to know that you're on your cycle. Nobody should smell you. If people can smell you, that's not good. 
So you need to make sure, young girls, that you are keeping yourself clean, that you are wiping properly from front to back, and that you have your spray and your sackies. And of course, once you finish flushing the toilet and spraying that area, you need to go to the bathroom, you need to wash your hands for 20 to 30 seconds with soap and water, then you need to get a paper towel and dry those hands properly. And if you have lotion, put on some lotion. All right, girls, I hope this helps. I need everybody to do this so that when you do go to the restroom after someone else, it smells good and not nasty. All right, toodles.